Welcome to Electron Lecture Online and our next example of how to find the volume using double integral technique is the case here we have a paraboloid uh, so this is defined by the equation z equals 2 plus x squared plus y minus 2 squared and the way to graph that is to imagine the vertex uh, is going to be opening upward because we have a plus x squared and a plus y squared here and it's going to be 2 above the z equals 2 so 1 2 above the xy plane that's where the uh, vertex needs to be we have the x square going up this way and the y square going in this way but since it's y quantity y minus 2 squared it's going to be 2 units to the right so 1 2 units to the right the vertex will be at x equals 0 y equals 2 z equals 2 and opening up this way and this way and now the rest of the volume is defined by x equals negative 1 to x equals 1 so from one unit before the yz plane to one unit behind the yz plane so kind of a rectangular shape going up this way and for the y limits from y equals 0 to y equals 4 so from here to here so it'll be a rectangular box going up this way and the top of the box of course is going to be defined by the paraboloid and uh, z equals 1 so we don't start at the xy plane we start one unit above the xy plane so to get a feel for that let's draw a volume element so here's a small little volume element the base is going to be dx times dy or actually this is dy this is dx and then we go up all the way to the top the top is defined by the paraboloid like that so that's my little dv element my dv and so it's going to be defined by dx times dy and the height will be defined by z and z is defined by this quantity right there so that's going to be my small volume element and to find the total volume we're going to integrate first in the x direction uh, x direction is like this and then in the y direction like this so we can say that the total volume is equal to the double integral of dv and so let's define that over here so the volume is going to be the double integral uh, the x limits are going to go from minus 1 to 1 and the y limits are going to go from 0 to 4 and so that's going to be dv and dv is going to be dx dy times z and z is defined by that so we can say that this is going to be 2 plus x squared plus the quantity y minus 2 squared the whole thing times dx dy and there we go so here's my volume element and we're going to integrate first in the x direction so this way and then in the y direction this way so in the x direction we're going to integrate like this and like that so we have kind of a strip with the top defined by the paraboloid and now we're going to integrate from left to right from 0 to 4 for y and it gives us the total volume underneath that paraboloid above the z-axis um, from, from 1 to that oh one more thing ah almost made a mistake we're not integrated from 0 to the paraboloid we're integrated from z equals 1 to the paraboloid so we have to take so this element right here, this would be z minus 1, not z. Ooh, critical error here. So I just realized my bottom limit for the z direction is 1. So I have to integrate not from the xy plane, but from one unit above that to the top. So I have to take the top z minus 1. And so I have to take 1 away from that. So make that a 1. So 2 minus 1 is, is 1. So that would be better. All right. Now I can go ahead and integrate this. So this is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to 4. That's going to be the second integral in the y direction. The first integral uh, for the variable x, we get um, x plus x cubed over 3. And this is all going to be a constant. So this is simply going to be plus y minus 2 to the second power times x. And the whole thing evaluated at, uh, let's see, from minus 1 to 1 times dy all right let's plug in the limits see what we get so come right up here for a little bit more space so this is equal to the integral from 0 to 4 because those are y limits and plug in the upper limit here we get 1 plus plug in the upper limit here we get 1 third plug in the upper limit here we get 1 so we get plus the quantity y minus 2 squared and we subtract from that when we plug in the lower limit, which is a minus 1. So minus 1. The lower limit, that's minus 1 third. And over here, that would be minus 
the quantity y minus 2 quantity squared times dy. Like that. And I think I'm missing one more parentheses. There. <laughs> okay. Clean it up a little bit. This is equal to the integral from 0 to 4. So we have 1 plus 1, which is 2, plus a third, plus a third, which is plus 2 thirds, um, plus y minus 2 squared, and that would be plus minus y, that would be two of them, 2 times y minus 2 quantity squared, and the whole thing times dy. And so we can clean this up just a little bit more. So there would be 2 times 3 is 6, that would be 8 thirds, so the integral from 0 to 4, this would be 8 thirds plus 2 times y minus 2 quantity squared dy. And I think now we're ready to go ahead and integrate that again a second time, now in the y direction. So this is equal to um, 8 over 3y plus 2 times, when we integrate this, uh, this would be y minus 2 to the third power divided by 3. So y minus 2 to the third power divided by 3 and evaluate it from 0 to 4. Okay, now we plug in the limit, see what we get. Upper limit, that would be 4 times a, that's 32 over 3, plus, plug in a 4 here, 4 minus 2 is 2 cubed, that's 8, times 2 is 16, so plus 16 over 3, minus, when we plug in the lower limit, we get 0, when we plug in the lower limit here, we get minus 2 cubed, that's minus 8, times 2 is minus 16 over 3. And notice that, um, oh, but we're subtracting, aren't we? So I have to put parentheses around that. Got to be very careful about that. So minus when I plug in the lower limits, and when I plug in this lower limit, I get uh, minus 2 cubed, that would be minus 8, times 2 is minus 16 over 3. The minus times the minus makes a plus, so this is equal to 32 over 3, plus 16 over 3, plus 16 over 3. That's 32 plus 32, which is equal to 64 over 3, which is the final answer. All right. So again, hopefully we didn't make any mistakes on the arithmetic here. But again, the key here is to recognize your shapes. We have a paraboloid. It's kind of like a, a parabola, but in two dimensions, one going up, one in the x direction, one in the y direction. In the y direction, it's shifted over two to the right. So my vertex is at 0, 2, and 2, because it starts at 2 above the xy plane. We're also limited by z equals 1. So that's why I had to adjust for the height of the dv element. So we have a dv element here. The x times is y is the base. The height is z, but z is the height of the paraboloid to the plane z equals 1, which is one unit above the xy axis, so, or xy plane. So z minus 1 is the height of the small volume element. So if this is z, subtract 1 from it, the 2 becomes a 1. That's why this is now a 1. Okay, I'm going to integrate in the x direction first from minus 1 to 1. So those are the limits. When I integrate, I get, I integrate over x, plug in the limits. Then I integrate again over y, plug in the limits, and a little bit of arithmetic. And there's the answer. And that's how we do that.